Okay, welcome to ICSC Tool Time, and we have a wonderful panel today. We have Russ back here, uh, Russ Schoen from Chicago. We have Roger Firestein from Williamsville. <laughs> <laughs> we have Mike Fox from Military Road, and I'm Susan Keller Mathers, and this is CRS 670 class, and some of our alumni. So welcome to all of our uh, discussion members today. We're gonna go through quite a few tools today and just talk about what are some tips, best practices, how to use it effectively, and also we're gonna look at some of the applications. Ring writing is also a divergent technique and it takes advantage of, of adaptive idea or adaptive uh, option generation. Some folks like the reflective part. Remember in the, uh, uh, the rules, it's, it's, it's more than just deferred judgment and quantity and, and uh, going for wild and ridiculous or hitchhiking. It's, it's also allowing for the power of incubation. And one of the characteristics of this tool uh, is that it does that well. It allows for the hitchhiking building on ideas for the, or options for the evolutionary change. It also includes uh, the notion of uh, incubation. I was talking with Horst Geschke uh, when we were together in Italy a few years ago, and I said, you, you did the research on this particular tool and its effectiveness and so on. Uh, I said, uh, tell me uh, uh, why uh, on the form that you used, it was three options across, and then uh, as many options, uh, I can't remember, six down or whatever it was. And he said, two is not enough from the research, and four is too many in terms of maintaining a good flow. Three was just right. And I said, and then what about uh, the number of options, the number of, uh, of spaces vertically? He said, I just kept going until I ran out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. yeah. so when you do a, a, a typical brain writing form, the most useful form would be three across and however many down that the form allows. Be sure to put the challenge in place before you begin, quite the opposite of VIR. You want to, be, you want to have this right in front of you at the time. Three, uh, you make three entries and then uh, the next person uh, gets a hold of this. And may I recommend that either as a facilitator uh, or in a group that does not have a facilitator to have a space available to put the extra sheet or two so a person is not waiting. They could just reach over and pick up another one. And you're familiar with the ones, you've been given the ones with the post-its on the, on the, on the pages. Uh, that works great when you're doing this, but you don't necessarily need to do that. Originally it started out when we were first introduced it, you just wrote in the squares and built it from there. So, but having post-its on those three spaces are just marvelous. Makes so. it easy. We used to cut them out and put them up. And yeah, the other so thing is too is that you're going to find you get more quantity with this because more people are able to participate. You don't have production blocking, so people don't have to wait to get the idea up into the queue. And the facilitator gets to play because they're not influencing the process. So, and, and as we talked about, do this after stick them up because that way people can build off of the stick them up technique. Yeah. I would recommend to anyone who uses this in a classroom setting and that when the group gets rowdy, give them brain writing, <laughs> it quiets them right down. <clears throat> or when they wear out, wear out them when they need something. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you have one person who's really dominating the discussion or there's some kind of um, conflict in the group or power differentiation that seems to be at play where you really want to level the playing field. And also, the person who gets that first form that's blank looks at you like, what is this? So often, I'll pay close attention to who gets the first one and really reinforce, would you please write three ideas across? The other thing the is that I explicitly read the instructions to them. So they turn the page over and read the instructions so that they've got it. They'll still have questions about how to do it, but read the instructions with them first. Yeah. Russ? I also, with a group, um, want to be sure to put an extra blank sheet in the middle so that as the first person finishes their first three ideas, they can put it in the middle, that no one's ever waiting for a form. There's another thing too. If you happen to get into consulting, 
you can load up the brain writing sheets when you're on the airplane waiting at you. <laughs> no, Mike, you hire someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I've, I've been stuck at places without any, you know, if I go internationally, a lot of times post-its are really tough. And so if you're, if you're used to post-its and you're looking at not having them or you're used to having the form and you don't have it, for this, all I have to do is fold a paper. Yeah, yeah, really simple. It's it's actually very simple, uh, and for other tools, you can you can do without post-its. We just particularly like them, and they they really add to the flow. So with brain writing, the other thing people sometimes do is once they have the form filled and we're putting them up, uh, particularly this would be a process buddy. Let's say that the process buddy is putting it up on the flip chart for us. Oftentimes they start taking the post-its off. All you have to do is put the whole form up. Right. And then we can go from there. But if you do take them off, put take them off in the order that they were generated. You want to keep the context going. So, yeah. applications, tips, watchouts. Brain writing is one of my favorite tools, mostly because I am a textbook extrovert, and brain writing allows me to put myself in check, <laughs> so oh, I can sit back. Interesting. And and especially in a, in a resource group, but also when you talked about, I did it once with my staff at my agency, and I brought in like one of our top VPs, we had just different people and it did even the playing field because now people weren't afraid to let the big guys talk, you know, and so everyone was able to get points, uh, their point across. And also if you're someone who is not an extrovert, if you're an introvert, now you can really shine because there's no uncomfortability with speaking. You can yeah. put all your information Time out. Time to think. Right. Yeah. I just, yeah. I really it's enjoy this tool. Clients yeah. yeah. and resource groups are always impressed at how many more ideas they generate yep. through brain writing than they mm -hmm. did even through stick them up brainstorms. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think there's an incubation component to that. I think people process differently when they have to do it internally versus externally. All right, so that is brain writing.